It is time for another theme park hosting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Belmont Park. Starting off at number 10 we have Crazy Submarine and no matter whether you have ever wanted to go under the sea in one of these or just get a perfect opportunity to sing a Yellow Submarine song then this is a ride for you. Similar to many of the other flat rides on the list, with it being manufactured by Zamperla, this ride is very common around the world, and therefore if you are heading to the park, we would recommend the more unique rides first. Nevertheless, if you do choose to ride, with it rotating you through the air at up to 10 rotations a minute, you are sure to have a whale of a time. Da ding ding. Get your sick bags ready as coming in at number 9 we have Tilt and Whirl. And before we do begin to talk about the ride itself, I want to apologise in advance for not being able to find the correct footage. However, let me tell you, nowadays this ride is amazing with all of the transformation of the cars into humongous ice creams. Yes, you heard me right, ice creams. So while you spin around on a plate, which then spins around on another plate, which then spins it round on, believe it or not, another plate, and also rises up and down, you'll be thinking about those yummy ice creams you'll be having after the ride on this incredibly dizzy attraction. If you are scared of heights, skip to number 7, as for our number 8 spot, we are going to head on to Mic Drop, and standing at 3 stories high, this is definitely not for a faint of heart. Once boarded, you'll see along with 9 others, you will rise, drop and bounce providing a crazy amount of airtime for a ride that only lasts 2 minutes. But one thing in particular I love about this ride though is the theming, as often new attractions aren't even painted once it arrives to the park, but with Rockstar Microphone for me, it makes such a big difference with the microphone that you are rising up and down on. There is no such thing as a theme park without a bumper car ride, and Belmont Park is no exception because taking our number 7 spot, we have overdrive bumper cars. Ever since it was added to the park in 1991, it has always been a fan favourite, and for good reason, as once you and one other person get into your car, you'll be able to drive around on your very own track but also bash into your friends who arrive to the park 5 minutes later than planned. How cool is that? Just make sure to dodge the other cars if you want to become the Belmont Park's Dodgem Champion. For our number 6 spot on our top 10 list, we have crazy cars, and as the name may suggest, things are about to turn a little bit crazy. Now with it being similar to our number 7 spot, it was really hard to choose between the two. However, despite it feeling a lot more compact, we find this ride a lot more futuristic. Instead of just driving like you are in a car, on crazy carts you will be able to go forwards, backwards, left, right and spin 360 by using the provided levers. Therefore, if I had to choose between the two, I would much rather bash and dash on crazy carts. Top 5, Wurt Wurt, and coming in for this spot we have Zero Gravity, the ride for anyone looking for their next challenge after Disco Drop. Standing only a little bit taller than Disco Drop, if you are looking for the height, then this is not the ride for you. But what makes this ride so much more intense, and in my eyes a lot better, is that firstly you do everything a lot faster. So instead of getting airtime, you will fly out of your seat, but it does not stop there, as you also do all of this while spinning around, providing both a great view of the park as well as some intense moments too. So for those reasons, Zero Gravity is comfortably at number 5. It is time for our first thrill ride on the list, as for our number 4 spot, Octron is definitely not for a faint hearted. Located within the corner of the park itself, quite often this ride is missed or not even noticed. However, this is honestly one of my favourite flat rides in the world, and here is why. 
in a nutshell, once you have sat down on your seat, your car will begin to spin round in circles and race up and down. But here is where it gets cool, as each one of the cars is equipped with a lever, which by pulling can make you rotate upside down. Therefore, if you want to take a leisurely ride, you can do that. Whereas if you want to spin non-stop upside down while raising up and down too, you sure can do that too. Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and taking the number 3 position we have Beach Blaster, the park's gyro swing attraction. Now I know that this ride is extremely common and as I suggested earlier it is not good to do the common rides but nothing beats a gyro swing on the beach. If you are brave enough to ride though, you will be spun around at the same time as rising higher and higher into the air until you literally can scream your lungs out. Yet over here on Theme Park Coasting for the best experience, we would recommend phasing opposite everyone else on your group, as watching their faces is so funny. Just remember, they can watch yours too. Who here is looking for the most intense ride at the park? Well, if it is you, you must take a ride on Control Freak as this ride brings the word intense to the next level. At first sight, this ride may not seem like a lot with just two sets of seats on a structure, but oh my god, is this ride very different on ride. The way that this attraction works is like many of your top spins, you will rotate upside down while spinning upside down too. However, unlike your normal top spin, you control yours and the other gondola in turns by using the buttons next to you, and you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that it can be very, very intense. The question is though, would you spin around non-stop or just enjoy the roots and take a leisurely ride round? Comment down below. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at Belmont Park, we have the Giant Dipper the oldest but still easily the best ride at the park. With opening almost 100 years ago in 1925, it has definitely had its fair bit of history, which you can tell when riding because of the roughness. Nevertheless, for me, the rough just makes the experience 10 times more authentic and even better than if it was smoothed. In addition to this, with all of its sharp turns, drops and airtime heels, even the biggest thrill seekers in the group will get a few butterflies. Therefore, with all of this and so much more, including the views of San Diego Beach, the funniest braking system you'll ever see and tunnel section at the beginning, there is no doubt that in my mind this ride deserves to be on the list and a trip to San Diego will be nowhere near complete without a ride on the Giant Dipper. That is it from our top 10 video today. Of course you will have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you have enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you would love and at the bottom there is our Patreon as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom from Theme Park Coaston and I will see you next time. Goodbye.